So, while I finally got my life a somewhat little together, it's your girl Leanna back again with another video. So today, or tonight, or whatever you're watching this, I want to discuss, you know, why is it important to understand yourself, you know, in your journey of whatever you're going through. My name is Leanna, and welcome back to my channel. Um, yes, and I changed my channel name once again, but that is not today's topic right now. I just want to have a focus on, you know, why is it important to understand yourself? And that is the reason is because most of the time you only have yourself. And I'm not saying like in a ne negative way, like, oh, we're like, I'm not like, I'm not alone or I mean, I'm not alone. Like, I can't trust anybody. I'm not saying like, like that. But in a sense, like, you know, you can't force anybody to um, make you care about you, you like you can't force anybody to want to understand your emotions and you know and if they're not going to see why they can't be more compassionate or more you know self-aware of them not taking any accountability you have to take your own accountability of yourself you know in order to say well I have to have a strong relationship with myself and I can't make anybody especially my family um where you know I, I have to make them understand what I'm going through because they feel like they can only go through something, you know, like their struggle is more important because like they lived longer than you or whatever, or, you know, their situation perceived more as important. So you don't want to keep having to fight. Um, and I know it sucks because you want your family to care about you and you want your family to love you. But, you know, it, they always say be your own family where, you know, they will hurt you more than a stranger. So, um, I know it sucks. I'm in the same situation. Um, so I understand why, you know, you feel like, well, I want my family to care, but they're just so mean. They're so rude and they don't they think I'm lazy, they think I'm selfish and disrespectful when I'm not, when I'm just struggling in my mental health and I can't figure out what I want because, you know, I was just wanting a family to stay together, you know, I didn't want, you know, a sloppy divorce or a sloppy situation, it's just like, I just want them to care and I get that, that's, you're not trying to be the bad person or whatever, but you just want them to understand to be a little bit more compassionate but they can't because they're selfish and they don't see what they're doing and they're wrong. So um, I would advise that, you know, you have to build strength within yourself. You can't always have to rely on somebody because at the end of the day, like I had said the last video, we're going to die alone. You know, uh, we're going to be in the coffin alone. And then those same people are going to say, oh, they're such a wonderful person. They were so sweet and, you know, they want to put that facade of, you know, I've always loved the person when really <clears throat> they were the problem of our um, mental health. So, you know, they could only they want to put it in the the facade of they're perfect. They they don't they can never do no wrong. They don't have to take up accountability. Um, people have to apologize to them. Which you don't have to apologize to that person to make them feel better about themselves or to feel like they have power or control over you. You don't have to. Um, they don't because they're the problem and they don't like when somebody is telling them the truth, you know. So that's why they attack and want to play victim when they're the problem and they, they just don't know how to apologize. Because they feel like everybody has to apologize to them and... They think in their head, like I said, that they see no wrong in themselves, like they're almighty and and a perfect human being when nobody is imperfect, you know? I'm not talking about trying to be like, you know, Miley sorry song or whatever. I'm not trying to make any inferences of that, but I was just saying in general, human species, as species, we're not perfect, okay? We're animals, we're vicious animals. We came from chimpanzees. We have we share the same DNA, and we still act like animals. You no, know? so it's not like oh we're humans. No, because we don't act like humans, or we would behave a lot better if we act like humans, right? <laughs> so it's just that 
I just feel like you need to just focus on yourself, focus on, you know, your positive areas, your positive qualities, you know, ignore the person that keeps saying that you're selfish, you're disrespectful, you're lazy, you're not, I promise you, you're not the problem, you've done all the focusing in yourself that you need to do, you're going to therapy, if you're not, go to therapy, talk it out, um, because your family isn't going to, um, isn't going to be for there for you at the end of the day, you know, which is sad. So you, that's why you have your chosen family and the people that can, can trust and know that, that they are there for you. You know, um, that's why they say that family isn't blood. And so, you know, it's okay. You're not going to be in your dark situation forever. You just got to manage through, focus on you. You don't owe anybody any of your money. You don't owe anybody an explanation you you don't have to help them because first of all even your own family you don't need to be a doormat where they could feel like they could walk all over you because you're not a slave you are a human you're not a kid okay and if they're not gonna respect you you don't need to respect them because if they're not if they're not gonna validate your feelings if they're not gonna re treat you with respect and treat you like a human being, then you don't need to do what you need to do. And I'm not saying that be disrespectful with them, but don't let them um, not walk all over you if they're not good, gonna um, allow you um, to f feel what you're feeling. And one thing that I experience is uh, comparing sin. If they feel like they have to compare their situation, like they had it tougher than you, they don't really care about what you're going through because they deem that they're more validated than anybody else. And that's not true. You're important. You're validated. <laughs> okay. Because if, if, it, if it was that case, then um, we wouldn't have a lot of other... We wouldn't have homeless problems. We wouldn't have... Um, yeah, we wouldn't have bad health care. Okay. So for them to think that they could only be the only problem, the only struggle of them and their situation is so bad, then we want to have a million other problems in the world. So it's them, they're the problem, and they think doing therapy one time, but they want to play the victim and not actually understand the problem, but at the end of the day, they're going to live at, with that guilt because they chose their friends over their family. And they're supposed to be a parent or whoever else. A sibling, a friend, an auntie, a cousin, whatever. You know, but at the end of the day, this is why you shouldn't always rely on people for your feelings. And, um, you know, it's hard because once you finally think that you finally trust somebody, then they ghost you or they ignore you. And they think, oh, well, I don't want to lead on. And then it's just like, there's nothing to lead on. Like, you just want to just talk it out. You just need somebody to talk to, like you. So I don't understand why people think, you know, feelings, like, you know, talking to somebody is having feelings for them. I don't get it, you know? <laughs> It always happens to me, of all people, right? You know, but I'm used to it at this point. I've just come to terms just to not bother anybody anymore with what I'm going through. And, and if the person stopped talking to me, I'm not going to keep forcing them to talk to me. I, I just don't have, I don't have the energy for myself. I put in a lot of energy into friendships for almost 20 years. And I don't talk to them anymore just because I was in surgery last year. And it took them almost a month for me to uh, hear from them. You know, or at least one of them. I've heard nothing from the other one. They were both sisters, but uh, it took only one of them to actually try to talk to me. And I couldn't even talk in the beginning because I lost my voice. But really a whole month, like you were busy for a whole month. And I've been texting you a month prior before New Year's on New Year's. And you're, oh, so busy. Like, that's bullshit. People, I feel... I, I hate when people really think like they're so fucking busy 
in the day when knowing damn well you see the texts like you can't really think that you you text a thousand people a day where you where you simply ignore mine or just another person in general and you're knowing and you know somebody's going through something like why is it really so hard to be there for somebody that's why i just really stopped relying on people and pe and then people want to come to me for support and and the shoulder could cry on and i and i really stopped that a lot because like you can't support me in my situation like i'm too too much it's too hard for me, you know for my situation but you want to come to me knowing that i'm still struggling and then you want to put your emotional weight on me no like i i stopped that boundary because if you can't be there for me and my emotional support, why do you think I'm going to be there for you and your emotional support? You know? So at the end of the day, you have to focus on yourself. You know, if you want to be successful, you have to focus on your goals and your affirmations and, you know, what what achievement you want to perceive to get to be successful. You can't be like, oh, I want to be a successful speaker. And then you dream about it and it doesn't come because you didn't put in the work and effort of becoming a speaker. You can't do that. You have to work towards, uh, you have to talk to events. You have to make videos. You have to write first, you know, you can't just think. <laughs> I mean, you can, but you're going to be a little, bit, a little, bit, a little bit, like most of my videos, you know, but see, I'm in a totally different position because like, this is just you know, simple content advice, you know, I'm not trying to make it more, I'm trying to make it more understanding and an emotional level. I don't want to make it more a business. I want to make it as like a more conversational, you know, bestie FaceTime kind of thing, you know, so it's not like more background music, edit cuts, you know, um, it's just simple as a regular phone conversation where, you know, on the other side, you could type or you could be like, yeah, I feel like that too. Because those videos are really like comforting when it's not much editing. Like it's just simple as like this, you know. So that's why I want to make more of my videos like this. Like laying on my bed, you know, being in my pajamas. Not really <laughs> the best lighting at the moment. But right now I'm just like really not in of much of doing all of that right now. Um, and I will get back to it, but I just, again, I said, like, I don't want to put full-time hours onto something that I'm not making full-time money, you know? So this is more of, like, a side hustle kind of thing where, you know, I want to make friends. I want to make the friend group, you know, the friend group that always get left out with a bunch of, you know, other friends going out and then they don't invite you, the, you know, the loner or the emotional um, support best friend, but no one else could be there for them. I've been in those situations, you know, the last, and then you're thinking to yourself, like, am I really a problem? Like, why do people like treat me like this? Like, am I really a horrible person? Because like, I get like, I, the one thing that I really do try on, especially now, like I want to respect people's boundaries, but it's just like, why is it that I could respect people's boundaries, but people can't respect my boundaries, you know? And they don't understand why I don't get, or I, they don't understand why I get frustrated and just stop talking because why am I, why is it so, but also why is it hard to, to for a friendship to meet halfway? Like, why does it that one person has to be all the way over here and then the person is just doing the bare minimum? It shouldn't be like that, you know? But you are okay. I'm here for you. I'm your internet big sister, mother, <laughs> bestie. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm here for you. I understand you. I validate your feelings, and um, we can only get through this together. We can only find a community that could support what we're going through together. And there's not a lot of it. I see on YouTube, like, people start out like this, but I know, like, 
I will continue once I surpass like a thousand subscribers. I will keep my content like this. And you could always remind me like, Leanna, go back to why we love you in the beginning. You could always say that to me as well too. And I wouldn't be mad because I'd be like, oh shit, maybe I am changing a little bit. Let me go. Let me humble myself a little bit, you know, <laughs> bring earth to Leanna. <laughs> I and I'm, I promise you I won't get offended and I and I will I will reroute my my uh my plan but I don't think I don't think I would ever be like that because I know how you that side of YouTube is and there's so many of the same content and it's just I want to be in that field of content but it's just I don't want to do the same I might here and there do the trends but it's just it's it's boring to see the same fucking thing you know so that's why I'm more wanting to do this side of, you know, lifestyle kind of conversational problem solving <laughs> to not feel alone because that is my main thing. And this helps me to to also like not feel alone because I feel like maybe I am helping somebody, you know, feel comfort and yeah, but we could grow together in a community tell your friends you know or tell anybody be like hey watch this youtube channel this will really help you in your situation this is the advice that you need you know at the moment and they're really funny they're really well they're i'm not funny but i don't see myself as funny i'm more sarcastic and they're really sarcastic straightforward they don't really do the ruha of youtube they're really authentic and clean you know they keep it real this is for you and I want to share this advice for you you know you can always do that if you know somebody um and that could always help because you know weird and awkward this side of YouTube is weird and awkward and we could keep growing as weird awkward nerds <laughs> I was never like the nerd nerd but I was part of the nerd nerd because I could never fit in with the cool people but the cool people were ugly anyways so I preferred myself to be part of the association with the nerds you know <laughs> so we we are the weird awkward nerd group over here playing in our ds <laughs> the corner of the room. <laughs> oh my god no but i love nerds i love nerds i really did not have a problem with them they made me feel so welcoming in their group like oh my god they were the real people, okay? And that's why that's why I'm making the weird, awkward, nerd corner of YouTube known to be real, okay? Because that's what we do over here. <laughs> but I'm going to just end the video here. I don't want to make it way too long. So like, comment, and subscribe. Like I keep saying, I'm here for you. I understand you. I validate your feelings if nobody else here. And I will help you through anything that you need. Comment whatever advice you need. <clears throat> I will get to it as best as I can and I will also respond to your comments and whoever comment first would get the highlight comment and yeah so I don't know bye <laughs>